everybody how are you doing today good to see you all uh, there is so much going on today i wanted to try and really stick to program because we just have so much to do today um First of all, I have two announcements. I'm gonna wait until we have a couple more people on to announce them, but uh, I'm gonna show you some samples that I've been getting in the mail lately from my team. They're chapter one and you probably haven't seen them yet. And even if you have, it's different to see them 3D than in a photo. So I'm gonna take them out we'll go through them and take a look at them and be re-inspired by our chapter one dies. And uh, then we're going to do a project that's kind of fun. So I'm glad everybody could come. In case you haven't been here before, my name is Eileen Hall, and I design dyes for Sizzix, and I have some other products, too. I never say that to anybody. Um, <laughs> I guess by now you know. But if there's anybody new. Hey, Louise, Charlotta, Angie, Frana. Oh, good to see you, Frana. Haven't seen you in a while. There's Tanya. And who else? I gotta scroll here. Glum, good to see you. As always, there's Donna. I miss Barbara. Lisa, how are you? There's Laura. Okay, everybody checking in. Good to see you. Okay, so um, I think what I'm gonna do is get these samples out and we can go over them pretty quick. Um, these are the ones from chapter one, which is the frame pocket die and the the library pocket uh, ATC card and tabs. And then we also had the folder that was really fun, the tablecloth. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of these. And I think what I'll do is I think I'll hold them up like this. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, you have it pre-ordered and you're a little too excited. What do you have pre-ordered, Glum? Okay, so let's just go ahead. I got a big box yesterday from Madeline. Hi, Isabel and Rhonda and Christy. Linda, oh good, I'm glad you're here, Linda. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mute my phone. <laughs> we may have my mom visiting. Who knows? Uh, anyway. Um. Yes, I'm excited for you to be here, too. There's Brenda, a new album from a band that Charlotte and you like. Okay. All right. So are you ready? You want to see some samples? This one is so cool. I'm not really sure what the fabric is. Um, she. This is from Madeline. I'm going to show hers first because they're all kind of together. And she did write what each thing was. And I was so glad because sometimes I don't know. But where did it go? Uh, do I not have that one? Well, it feels like fabric, but I'm not really sure. You know what? Maybe it'd be better if I put the camera down. Uh, yes, I did get my mom settled, Angie. Yeah, she had a really good day yesterday. I, I was glad because the day before was like she didn't know who I was. So yesterday she was like, carrying on a conversation and I, it was very encouraging. So that was good. But um, I think I am gonna go ahead and turn the camera down and then we can see these better. All right. Okay, let's see. I don't want my thing to come out of the stand. It felt like it was going to be for. Okay. All right. So here is this one. Hi, Hillary. How are you? Um, this is the Frame Pocket Journal. And she's also, oh, that's the other one, the Tiled Alphanumeric. I knew there was another one. I just couldn't think of it. What I like is how she bound it with this kind of like a uh, I don't know. It's like a cotton, but it looks like, I don't know. It feels really nice. She tore the edges, so it just feels cool. And it's that nice spring green. And then inside, she's got this kind of um, like natural paper. And this looks like hand done, but I don't think it is. 
and it has kind of little pocket clips here and it's tied in with the fabric, which I don't usually do, but it's a cool look. And I really like how she, you know, has it here. So it's kind of like a feature of the design. And I also like this trim. I have some of that too. I got it in Hobby Lobby. And the other thing I like is that she did this double flap here with um, the flap. So uh, hanging with some grands today. Oh, good. That's nice of them. Um, all right, so here is another one, and this is, she said, kind of a take on the one that Jenny Marples did. I don't know what this chip, I think it's chipboard, but it's really pretty. It's like a resist chipboard, and then she's got that pretty swag, and this cool, she used the label on the, what is that? Uh, it's starting the library pocket. She used that as a closure and little invisible Velcro. So smart. Oh, thank you, Glum. Actually, you know what? I did a whole thing today. Wait, let me just put them up here. Because I thought I should start with this, you know, because if people don't know who I am, join the fan club. We would love to have you in there. Um, we've got, oh, we have a new blog post today coming out. Well, it's already out. Very cool projects. Go ahead and take a look at them, the projects. That's at EileenHall.com. You can go to Sizzix and see the hub. And there, if you go there, I know that I've had a lot of questions lately about the um, switch and how what kind of materials to use. Are the scoreboards dies going to work on that? There is an announcement coming out the beginning of April, and I have something I want to show you at that point. But right now, um, there's an FAQ that gives you some tips on what to do in case you're stuck on that. And I keep posting it in the group, but um, I think it's it's good information to try, okay? Uh, and then also, follow me on Facebook. You're probably already there because you may be watching this on Facebook. Um, and these are when we have the shows. We're on the Thursday at 4 right now. Um, and we stream both to Facebook and YouTube at the same time. And so you can go over there and watch. If you're looking for an old video, I would recommend you go over to YouTube. It's just easier to find over there. You can kind of scroll through and see the titles of um, the projects. And there's also playlists so you can see, you know, whatever you're looking for. It just is a better sorting tool, I think. Uh, and then, yes, if you want to get supplies, they're over in my Etsy shop. And I have a big announcement of something that is in my Etsy shop right now that I just put there, a couple things. So you can go check that out. And uh, that's all I have for little banners, okay? But I really, I want to do, I had an idea to make like a, a slideshow that I can put on at the beginning of the show when I'm not talking and then, you know, all the information is out there if we have new people, but you guys don't have to hear it every time. So I don't know what you think about that, but, and I don't know when I'm going to do it, but it's a good idea. <laughs> so I'm hoping I can figure it out. So this is this cute little, all right, let me see what Madeline says about it. I put her note in the project whenever I can. She says, inspiration was from Jenny Marple's expanding folder. This one does not as ex expand as far. It's open at the top and has handles. Hers had a little flap, I think. Tabs at each side. Use clear Velcro dots to help it from expanding too much. Good idea, Madeline. Sounds like the voice of experience. I, I have done that too. <laughs> so I like the little handle. It's like a little purse. Isn't that adorable? Um, I love it. And I really like this chipboard with the resist on it. I'm going to have to find out where she got it. So that's a cute little organizer. And then she used the tabs here to, uh, you know, so you can divide things into little sections. All right. Then she has this Imagine notebook. I'm trying to, I don't know what this stuff is. It's like elastic, but it's really stretchy and it feels cool. So I'm not sure what it is, 
but this is a little like organizer and she used the pocket but she oriented it this way and then there's these oh i think i have it going the wrong way yeah so you open it out and look at this it's kind of like it's it's like uh i don't know how it like greased paper or something it's cool and this reminds me of ted lasso be curious um and then this has a little book accordion book isn't that cute i love that that is so cool and this is what i like about it she used the oh glum she's telling on me all right maybe we need to do that after i after i talk about this project i'll do our announcement okay um, but look at what she did. She used these tabs as like uh, like a binding for the this little accordion book. Isn't that genius? These are so fun. I want to make 20 of them. And then again, the little tab, that's made out of cork. And then there's just like a little tag and a journaling card inside each of these things. Oh, yeah, we lost one here. Whoops. Lost another one. Okay. It's a little butterfly book. So I love that. So that fits. And this is the tablecloth folder. And then we have another one that folds out. And another little book here. I mean, they're so fun. <sighs> I just, I need to make one of these just to, I have that paper too. You know, this would be a great thing to use if you have the like, um, you know, paper packs that you don't know what to do with. You have too many things, you know, too much, too many papers left over in a pack. Anyway, love that. Wait, let me put this back in here. Then I can read the names of these products and not have to search my brain. All right, wait a minute. I'm going to come back on because I want to talk about what's happening here. Okay. All right, wait a minute. Ah. Okay. So, Glum spilled the beans, but I'm really happy to say that we have the chapter two release coming soon. I got word that it is uh, ready to ship. So I will be getting it like probably right before I leave for the trade show, but I won't be doing it. You know, I won't be shipping obviously until I get home, but it will be here ready and waiting. So anybody who wants to order, if you order from the U.S., um, you get $10 off the combined price of the dies. And I will tell you, they have gone up. The price of the dies have gone up. So I'm trying to give you a little rebate there. But a, a scoreboard die XL is now $55. So we're just going to have to make them worth it, right? <laughs> so we there are three dies in the set. And actually, I have a little graphic. And I I'm going to show you, I'm not sure I'm supposed to, but um, I'm thinking if you don't know what it looks like, you don't want to buy it. So here's just a little peek at, oh, wait a minute. Uh, how am I going to do this? Maybe if I, oh, I'm afraid to, ah, uh, shoot. I think I put the picture in the wrong um, category it's not an overlay so it won't go on top of me so anyway there are three dies one is called the card case and it is um all the measurements and stuff are in the etsy store so glum sent the link she posted that in the group if anybody is interested uh <laughs> i know you had to go look glum <laughs> Thank you. I know I'm early. That's what I can't believe. But I'm really trying to get ready for this trade show. Yeah, the die prices are nuts. I know. So you really have to think about it. But um, 
this is a fun one because it holds journaling cards. And I've been doing a lot. It also holds ATC cards. You know, there's a little more room in there, but you can pack them in there. And it also has an adjustable spine. It's really a fun one. And then there is a mini slim line and tickets die that is made similar to the uh, snail mail die that has like little perforations. So that's a fun one and a cool background. And then there is the, uh, the there's a pocket or an envelope um, the, with that you can cut windows into, like you know, on a, a return address envelope that has little glassine you know screen um i'm getting ready for namta i don't have any on me kathleen i have the slide i'm gonna put it, it go look in the etsy store it's in there sorry i just can't grab it and put it up on the screen right this minute but um i can put it in the group later uh after this so and then the other one is like it's got an envelope it has a journaling card and the card fits in the envelope. So they're great for all of your other journals that you have. And then it also has like an oval cutout and it's got two little strips. You can also stamp on strips when you cut them out. It's just really fun. We're, we're going to go way into it. This is just supposed to be pre-order, but I wanted to tell you what the product was before, um, you know, you might want to order it. So together, um, if you added it up, the, the price is $122. I'm doing free shipping domestic. So if you live in the U.S., I, I can do free shipping. And also I'm taking $10 off. That's only if you get the bundle. If you get them separately, then it's all just regu regular, okay? But I have 30 bundles coming. So if you're interested in getting like basically $20 off the set, uh, you can pre-order now, and then as soon as I get back from the show, I will ship them, okay? So they are in there right now. That's the Chapter 2 bundle. Yes, thank you. So that is one announcement. The other announcement is we are having another, that's the team and I, are having another event like we did for the... Um, Comfort and Joy back in November. So this is going to be on April 22nd. So what we are doing right now is we are asking you to hold that date. It's a Saturday. We're going to do pretty much the same format. It's going to be from, we changed it to nine o'clock till four. I think last time it was 930 because so, so I can't get out of bed. But, um, you know, the UK is ahead of us five hours and Pacific is three hours behind. So we're trying to, you know, cater to everybody. But again, it will be held in a Facebook group. Everybody can um, get in there and be ready to go. That's where we're going to show all the videos. And then if you miss something, you're not up or you're, you know, out somewhere, you can come back and watch it later. Okay. So everything will be available for, you know, you could still, if you bought the one from um, Christmas, you could go back and cord is bugging me. Uh, you could go back and watch again, you know, if you miss something. Hey, oh, hi. oh, you're on the beach, Karen, you lucky thing. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> it is warm here today, though. Anyway, so we're having this event, but we're not going to start open registration until... <laughs> the middle of everything when we're at the trade show and there's another surprise too we are gonna do our launch party our our release party from the trade show so that is gonna be crazy <laughs> and fun so uh I, we hope that you'll watch that and i'll be putting all this stuff out i am like sitting at my computer making graphics and all kinds of stuff so we can keep you guys in the loop and you can be there watching and see what's happening at this trade show. I can't show everybody's booth because not every vendor wants their things to be seen. And also it's going to be kind of uh, in the middle. Well, yeah, the show will be set up, but I'm not sure who's behind them and around them. So we're going to have to kind of watch where we're going, but we're going to start in the Sizzix booth and then we're going to walk to uh, an undisclosed location and do the rest of the show. So it is going to be really fun, really crazy, but 
I just couldn't resist letting you guys show what is happening. Um, I, I mean, see what's happening at the show. So I'm always running around. Yes, I am running around. <laughs> I don't always know what I'm doing, but I'm running around. I am doing two talks, which I'm kind of nervous about. I'm on a panel, so it's not the whole thing, but I get nervous. Anyway, so this is what's to remember from all of this blabbing. Um, save uh, April 22nd because we're going to have this time we're going to have an early bird price for a week so if you want the cheap price <laughs> get it right when it comes out uh, if you want the dies from chapter 2 they are available in the Etsy store right now for pre-order free shipping and and uh, discount hi Emily uh, we'll see Sarah you, you might be there to watch <laughs> Um, what else? Uh, we have a new post that just went live. Go check that out. And I think we are caught up. Oh, yes. That, all right. I'll tell you about that later. All right. So let's get back to Madeline's and Lisa's projects. And I'm going to turn the camera around again. And hopefully, yeah, it's still here. Okay. So... Let's just keep looking here. You need my energy. I don't have energy. I'm like a slug most of the time. It's just, you know, if you have to do it, you have to do it. If you say you're going to do it, and then that's the only way I get anything to happen. Ugh. Thank you, Glum. Good summary. Okay, I'll be putting more in the fan club, too. So if you're not a member, go to the fan club, because that's the, the nerve center. Okay, and thanks for keeping on posting in there and seeing all of... I love seeing what you're making, guys. Thank you. Okay, this is really cool. And let me read. This, I think she said, was from, like, some vintage... This buckle, some vintage thing that she got somewhere. So this is also Madeline, and let's see what she says. Used old trims to make this soft, flexible journal. It is. It's like, uh, I don't know what's under there. Maybe some kind of stiffener interfacing. Both inside and outside are layers of designed rice papers. Oh, these. Oh, by Rebecca Meyer. Look at them. They are beautiful. Ooh. Rice papers are adhered to a batting-like interfacing. Then the trims are sewn over the papers by machine using straight and zigzag stitches. Inserts are made with muslin and gel print leftovers. Fill all with pages. Fill with pages made from newsprint paper. Okay, yeah, these. And these are the gel print leftovers. Isn't that beautiful? You can see them coming through here too. Ah. Wow, look at that. Look at that trim. Isn't that pretty? Simple ribbon closure. Old plastic belt closure. Okay. Oh, an accordion flip out from a set of envelopes. I think it's this way. Yeah. So she put the tab on here. Look at that. How clever. I'm from New Zealand. You can't see product in my Etsy store. Uh-oh. You know what, Pauline? Go back, uh, scroll up, because um, Glum put the link somewhere above. Hi, Kathleen. Good to see you. Oh, there's Leslie. Had to stop for chocolate dip from Dairy Queen. <laughs> the ice cream made her late. Yeah, sure. It wasn't her eating the ice cream. It was the fault of the ice cream. I'm dying, guys. I'm on my chicken salad diet, and I am hungry and getting crabby. Ugh. But I did lose a couple pounds. But I just want to be comfortable in my pants, that's all. <laughs> you can make a closure like that from shrink plastic. Yeah, that'd be cool. Hi, Wendy Jean. I know, isn't it fun? All right, so look at this one. Uh, this one I couldn't find a paper for. So I think she might have put some luster wax on here. And this is like a little crocheted heart. It's so cute. And it's got like um, stick pins in it. And then again, she did that double flap, which is so cool. And then 
This is a little book. Look at that. Is that a Tim Holtz die? I can't, I don't know. I've, she has it in here a couple times. But I love this pink and corrugated cardboard. And this is like plastic or something, like wax paper maybe. See, I don't have the paper that tells me about this one. But she puts all kinds of stuff in there. Oh, thanks, Glum. Thank you. So that's that. Here's more newsprint paper, I think. It feels like it anyway. And she speckled it. And this is just cool. You could use your Amazon packaging. Here's another little crocheted heart and some, like, stencil. I think that's Ann Butler's um, stamps. And some pretty paper in here. And then another, like, a little pocket. I, I like that saying, too. The greatest gift of this day is the day itself. Yeah, I mean, you can't can't have enough days and being grateful for having having life. So and then she's got some cool little, you know, ephemera in here. This I thought was just I don't know how she did that. Can you see that shine? It's amazing. It's beautiful. So that's that. So I love this little book. And I like the closure too. I think it's really clever. It's this is felt, and then there's vel three little Velcro invisible dots. I have to find some of that. Okay, so this is from Madeline. Now I have some from Lisa. So let me show you them. All right, I'm going to clear this off. And I'm going to start showing this. Now some of these, like I said, they were on the blog, but... They're different when you see them in person. And some, I mean this, I'm going to start off with this one. She has the perfect closure and charms. Look at that, an elephant, the monstera leaf, you know, pretty little colored charm. And then she did this, this cool closure. I can make my hands do it. And then this wood, that's neat. Or the flap and then the pockets that heart is from a switch lid it must have been discontinued okay and she has all of these tim holtz those um colorized i think there are a couple in here and this is cool this envelope look at that neat closure on here she just punched a hole and did a circle and then tucked the flap under i think i love that so easy you know I'm afraid I would wreck it, but she did it right at the perfect place. And so inside, there's a little card. That's pretty. So that's an ATC, I think. Probably, because that's the size that was around. And some more. This is the wood grain, too. This feels so... Oh, that's wood grain stamp, probably. And then this is probably gel press another tag these are so cute these little paper clips oh here's another one specimens and another there's a journaling card and pocket so there's the oh another one wow oh this is a cool one look at this it opens up and she's got there's one of those colorized bugs um I mean, there's so much going on in here. And this paper is perfect. Look at this. And she's kind of stenciled the background. Lisa just does everything to the max. She is incredible. All right. Now I can't get them in there. I think I have to do them all at one time. Look at that. They're stuffed with little things. So these pockets are pretty handy. You can make them out of paper, but they're a little bit unstable. I would use the heavier duty for these. Look at this book. This is the tablecloth folder. And then I'm not even sure how she did this. This almost looks like burned or something. So cool. Like an old vintage, like Indian paper or, you know, it just has that look of kind of batik about it. And it's beautiful. There's... Uh, butterfly and all of these 3d elements in here she's got like a little pocket 
little specimen card. This tuck is from the page folio page die. And then that's the uh, woven leather folder and these pretty backgrounds. You know, the, notice they're all different sizes. I love that. Adventure awaits, that's for sure. <laughs> if nothing else in life, yes, that is true. And then all these just cool tropical exotic animals, butterflies. That's pretty. This must be the butterfly page. That's cool how she just did that. Um, maybe that's a monarch. And this too. I loved how she just put that in as a, you know, element. And then here's another little belly band with a tuck spot. Rah! Okay, don't don't let that guy get you. And then you've got some birds, bees. This is cool. I love how she just, it's so natural, you know, to, to look at these. I think it was a paper colored with paper artsy infusions crystals. Oh, okay. All right. That's sloth. <laughs> okay. Here's another little pocket. Wonder. Lisa, is that a one of those old label makers? Because I have one of them. That's a cool idea. It seems like bigger print than mine, but I don't know. All right. And all this is 3D. So, you know, you can't even tell after a while. It's like, wait a minute. Is that is that the page or is that all stuck on there? Look at this guy. Toucan, I think. And this here, she used the pocket, um, of the frame piece to this die, you know, the frame pocket, die, pocket. And um, no, that's not pocket, it's frame. Frame! <laughs> this tag fits perfectly in there. And it's almost like a, um, I don't know, like you're going to see something, I don't know, like underneath or who knows what's going to pop out of where. And then here's this guy. I don't know his name, but he is definitely... One of those color eyes. I, I would go insane trying to glue that on there. I think my eyes couldn't do it. But this is just beautiful. I mean, it's so detailed. So, so pretty. I couldn't put it away without showing you guys. All right. So there's that. Now, um, oh, this is a cork calendar. So this is the display stand. Remember that? Where we all made our calendars. And... Um, this goes together like this. You just push this down, and then this rests here, and you've got your calendar. So these are on my Etsy store if you need a calendar. Hey, Brenda, or Lisa, how are you? I know that giraffe is so cute. Hi, Lori. Oh, Lisa's saying the Tim Holtz label stickers made to look like old label. Oh, that's handy. Good job. There's Teresita. Love your book, Lisa. I know that is so much going on is right. Okay. So yeah, this is the uh, display stand with some cool like alcohol ink. Is that what's on here, Lisa? Is this texture roll? It really feels cool. And this too. Um, but the fun thing about this, if you wanted to make one for somebody, it lays flat. So when you go to ship it, you know, you'd have to use like a six by nine envelope or something, but it would ship in the, in an envelope. And I'm not sure if those are from my new numbers. I, I can't tell. <laughs> they all look alike. Um, this one is, I love this one. And this was kind of a Valentine's one, but this is the phone stand with the frame pocket or the pocket that came with this die stuck on it. Isn't that amazing? And then she made these little life is good on the 14th. Um, here's an ATC card, you know, that she made this little like weekly checklist or whatever you want to do with it. So, so pretty. Now, if I can fold it up again. I love that. So you can use that as like a tag display stand, you know, just stick this right on your frame of your phone stand. Put Stick the frame on phone stand. 
Ah, uh, I can't talk today. I, I'm overwhelmed, honestly, by all of this. Here is a cute little ATC. This might be an extra one. Lisa was saying she had an extra one. So I might have to put that in my collection. I don't know if she would approve, but... And look at the cool way that she packaged these things. Like a folded up folder. Isn't that fun? Right there. And this is like an oversized card. Love it. Hi, Janie Jane. And this has the thinlets, the um, tiled alphanumeric on the back. Looks like she just cut it out of paper and did some inking on top and then layered elements and put that little heart on there. And, you know, another little ATC card and pocket, some flowers, you know. And I like this little scallop trim here. Very cool. It's beautiful, Lisa. All right. Now, a couple more things. Lisa, Lisa went to town. Now, you remember that book that was inside the other one? Well, this is similar. I think this is sorry silk. Feels really pretty. I, it feels soft. I, I'm telling you, I cannot talk. I've been by myself all day. That's the problem. Okay, now I pulled it out. I've got it. I just tucked that in there. But here is another little book. So if you wanted to put that inside here, you could do that. But it's cute on its own, too. And here's more of the... This is where I was thinking about these colorized guys. So here's another little pocket that she used, or frame, frame with a well, big old cockroach, or whatever that is. <laughs> and here is a, a butterfly flying out of that pocket so pretty an alphabet like used as a page that's really cool this is the sloth that's so cute more butterflies and bugs blah and the other side of the alphabet and more pretty just fun things to look at you know another pocket and here's the back. Lisa, these are just stunning. I mean, they're beautiful. I'm just going to wrap this around so I know that I have to do that. Okay, what else? These are really fun, too. Okay, these are kind of seasonal, but I thought this was just smart how she packed it. All right, look at this. This is the geometric box in like beautiful embossed papers that she glued on to the box and look at this little little stand a little house little vignette wouldn't that be cute on your mantle you know you what you could do too if you wanted you could put like a Valentine theme, theme on this side or another winter theme and have a double one, you know? So like if you knew you had it out, you could do all red and do the, the winter scene and then flip it over and have a Valentine's theme ready to go. <laughs> I usually don't have my Valentine stuff put away or Christmas stuff put away by Valentine's Day. So that's why I'm thinking that way. Here's another one, and this one, I love the colors. Look at that, like a vintage retro theme and colors. This is cool. I think she did, Lisa, are you there? Um, yeah, I think this is like texture paste and then some shiny kind of, what is that, Lisa? I love that color. And then there's the star that comes with it. So this is just so, so cute. And I love that when you put it away, so what I'm thinking is when I bring this to the trade show, this is protected. I don't have to worry about all these little things sticking out. And when you pack it away from Christmas, you know, just turn it over and you're good to go. Then when you're ready, pop it up. I know. I don't know how people think of these things, Diane. I just think of what I would want. But then when I see what everybody else is making, I want them too. All right. Now this... I think this is from Pam, and this one I really like, too, because if you remember, we did a um, make-along, 
And I think that this was kind of the pattern, but she added these little pockets and the library tags, uh, cards, library pocket and ATC cards. So she added them to inside the book, which I can't get back in there. What did I do wrong? Who designed this die? <laughs> Come on. You know what happens? There's like a little, I have to kind of lift it up and do it that way. Anyway, there it goes. So this is so cute. And this was done with, a, I think, a 12 by 12 paper, if this is the one that I'm thinking that she did. And it's nice and dimensional. And it's like, this could be a nice little insert book for uh, several of the dies that you might have, okay? So what do you think of that? Hey, Amy Powers, good to see you. And then this is a card. And honestly, I can't remember who did this one. Lisa, was this you or was it Susie? I can't remember. A great brag book. It would with all the little uh, photos sticking out. All right, I'm gonna try and concentrate what I'm saying now. I sound insane, but there's just so much on my mind. You wouldn't believe the lists. That I have like because I don't want to forget anything I still have to do the kidding for 25 make and takes and it's a book it's the the new book coming out but I'm doing it for crafters home and I don't have the supplies yet so I'm slightly freaking out not you okay I think that one was from Susie okay anyway thank you so much to Lisa and Madeline and Susie for those extra glimpses of inspiration. They're beautiful. I I just think I can't believe how much different it is to see it on a, in a picture and then see it in person. It's just a hundred times better. Looks like the twelve by twelve paper folding down. Yeah, good. I'm glad you like it, Christy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going on our project today. And this, I am using the frame pocket journal, like I was just showing you, and a lot of those makes were from. Um, this one I made from a gift box a while ago, and I may have even done this, I, I might have done a show on it. But after it, I made this little book, and I thought, you know, this is really cool. And I'll tell you what inspired me, was a trip to one of my favorite stores where they had a bag of these these um, paper bags. And I'm not sure what they were supposed to be for. It seems like a liquor bag, but it's it's skinny. So I don't know what you would do with it. Maybe a breadstick or something. <laughs> I have no idea, but I got it. So now I have extras. I put them in the Etsy store. You get 20 of them for $3. So if you want to go ahead and make one of these books, you can just you know throw that in there. They're cheap and it'll make a lot. So um, let me show you what I did. Uh, what I decided was I was going to make another book, and then I thought, I have this one. This was a journal that we did um, from the Bella Crafts uh, Bellacon. So I had an extra one because I made one for the class that's finished, and then I made one in class. So this is that one, which I think I messed up, actually. But I like how it came out. It's a little hard to keep it closed, so I decided I am going to put a closure on this one um, probably today if we have time because we talk too much and now, you know. So for some reason, I did not put elastics here on this these last two things, and then I closed in the fold. So I still could punch a hole in here, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to, you know, do it how it is, and maybe I'll put a pocket back here. I don't know. But I did think I would make a little booklet. And I'll show you how this one looks. This is made with Sizzix papers and these paper bags. And there's just a little trick to them. So I'm going to show you. So I use the, you know, I just cut a piece of paper, which is uh, eight by five and a half. And I folded it in half. So I'll, I'll show you when we get to it. But 
what's fun is it's got this little opening and it has this little opening. So if you wanted to tuck things in, there's actually two openings here. You know, can you see that? So there's a couple ways you can do it. And I just thought this was kind of a fun little exercise and also would be a cool journal. I have it upside down. But I like this. You know, you could do like a camping trip. Um, you could do photos on here because it's not like you're covering anything. These are all background papers. So I just thought it came out really cute. And I was thinking it'd be fun to do with the kids too. So anyway, you can make it be as long as you want because you're attaching the pages to each other. So you can make it, you know, just a couple signatures or you can make a big one like this. Okay. And so the way that you get it in there is you just find the center and then you lift it out and you can work in it or you decorate it or whatever you want. And then when you're ready, you can put it back in. Okay. So here's the book. I, the only thing was I didn't really like how flimsy this was. I could see using it for kind of a disposable cover, but you know, I wanted something a little more solid for the one that I'm going to do. So, um, Oh, thank you. Glum. Yeah. Very good. Uh, so that is what I thought. I might as well use this cover. So I did change the papers that I use because I decided I was going to decoupage. So I'm just using a brown craft, which kind of blends with my paper. So I am going to show you what I did. Okay. So here is, here's one of these envelopes or bags. I know some people call them sacks. Uh, and then what I did was I just chopped off in the back. It's got this little gusset thing here. So I just chopped that off. You don't have to be real precise about that. And there's probably something you can do with that. I'm not sure. I've seen something, but I don't know. I couldn't figure it out today. <laughs> so you have your bag. And then what you're going to do is if you had a smaller book, you could just fold it like this, but because ours is bigger, what we're gonna do is kind of open it up and fold out this fold that is folded in. All right, and if you want something that's not creased or anything, this is not the project for you. This is kind of a, you know, an old or vintage kind of look. Okay, so now you have this size. So I have two of them already done. And then I have my paper that's already cut five and a half by eight. So what I'm going to do is, and you can adjust this. You can actually use this with several other of the dies. And I measured them height wise. Um, it will fit in the skinny mini book box. The only thing that you would have to do is adjust the depth of this paper because this is a little thinner than the one that we're doing. Okay. It will also work in the pocket notebook and it would also work in the book box. So as well as the frame pocket journal. So these are handy little bags this size. I'd never seen them before. I just thought they were so cute. I had to buy them. So all I did was I took my paper and I glued it and I've got my little jar here of, of uh, paper towel that's wet. Hopefully it's not dried up and I'm gluing it, but you could use tape if you wanted. Come on, don't do this to me. Why? This drives me crazy. Now I have to plunge it. Can't find the middle. You can iron the creases out of the bag. I could, Madeline. Hey, good to see you. We love your stuff, Madeline. Hope you're doing well. So I'm just covering this very messily with glue. Get the edges. All right, and then I'm going to just press this down. And what I'm doing is I'm just covering 
I usually use this side just because this is bigger and I'm just gonna kind of center this but it doesn't matter too much because I'm gonna cover this with some book page is my plan anyway all right and then I'm gonna get my scoring board and I know that I want it um, to fit I think it's four inches so let's just measure that make sure yeah we want a four inch fold that's why we did it eight inches okay so we're gonna put it on the scoring board here get our scoring tool bone folder and just score down at the four all right then we're gonna fold it over And then you have a couple choices, okay? You can score this too if you want. Actually. It's a little, little longer, but you know what? With this book, I'm not really worried about that. You could fold it over here, and then you would have little pockets, you know, that would be its own little folder, and you could tuck something in here. You could fold it over this way, or you could fold it over to the back. So it's just up to you where you want to put your little pocket that's left. Now, if you do fold it to the back, then you're not going to have this side one. You know, uh, you won't have this one here because you'd have a flap coming over. But the fun thing about this is you have inside here one, two, three, three pockets, but you could even do more if you only glued down this here and this here, you'd have this inside here. But the reason that I glued it was because I thought it needed something stable because this is pretty, you know, loose. So this one I did, uh, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, and I kind of wait until I get everything together to figure that out, but I do like to change them up a little. Oh, hey, Joellen. Good to see you. Janie, ours did too. She starts at 4 p.m. Oh, oh, yes, that's right. I think I put that on the... Oh, I didn't switch it. Shoot. You know what? That happened yesterday too. I had a meeting and I forgot to tell people because I know that we changed our time, but you guys, I'm so sorry. Hopefully you'll, you'll catch up. Sorry about that. Charlotta told me, and I forgot to do it on here. They're on summertime. Next week we'll be back to normal. Okay, that's good. I don't know if I'm ever going to be back to normal, but I don't know if I ever was normal, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> I wondered why we didn't seem to have our usual crowd. That's... Ugh. Well, I can't help the time change, but I could have adjusted the well you know what on StreamYard it should have alerted you did that work guys did you if you're in the UK did you get an announcement on time who's normal nobody that hangs around with me Charlotta I'll tell you that all right so let's score it at four these are really fun when you don't really have a project to do, but you kind of want to do something, but you don't want to think about it too much, when you're putting something off, as I seem to be all the time these days, but I really have been pretty good, I will say. All right, and that one, I mean, you could just score down here. And there is that. Yeah, that'll help it. This one I probably would fold over because it's got that uh, label on it. Although I kind of don't mind that. Uh, anyway, we'll just leave that and put it on the pile. And then we've got this one. I think we have enough to put it together. Okay. So let's do it. All right. So the first one, I think I do want to have my pocket go out that way. All right. Then I have my two little insides, and then I'm going to put these two together. So I have that. 
And then, hmm, maybe I'll have that come around for a pocket. And then this one. Hmm. All right, what does that look like? They're a little uneven. I did fudge my measurements. I was doing them a little bigger, but then I realized I could get two pieces out of one sheet of paper. So I did go ahead and chop a little bit off and kind of play with that a little bit, but that's all right. Uh, so, all right, let's put these together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little glue here. All right, now it's flowing and I'm gonna smush those together and press down. I don't want to be normal. I am not normal or I'm normal. Everyone else is not. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Isabel. Yeah, I, well, I'm sorry for the people that are not here. That's who I'm saying sorry to. We'll catch up. After the trade show, we'll get back to normal. Yeah, see, there's a little difference there. But, you know, that's fine. And see, here's our little pockets. I love these. Now, on this one, I did that flush pretty much here. I've got some extra, so I could trim that out on that side. I'm not really worried about it. Um, all right, and we have one more. And we're done. And then I'll show you how we put it in the book. Well, I'm not really done because I want to do, well, we have a couple minutes. I could start it anyway. I just want to add on these pages some book pages because I think that'll make it look nice and vintagey. You completely support this proposal. I think 6 p.m. every day should be at 3 p.m. every day, except weekends. Then I can finish work early. All right. She's got a plan, Janie Jane, as usual. All right, I got a little gook out here, but that's all right. I could put a little cloth binding on here. That might be cute, but then I couldn't add on, so I think I'm going to leave it like this. Now, if you want to, like, secure these down, just add a little glue here and press. You could do your clips if you wanted. I think that's just so cute looking, this ruffle. So use the features of the bag. And then you got two little two little tucks. And it's nice that the top one is um, protecting the little one. Hey, there's Alice. How are you doing, Alice? All right. So we've got, look at this fun little book. And you could cover this if you didn't like with that the bag was showing. You know, this thing that says pint. Maybe it's for, like, berries? I don't know what you do use it for. Does anybody know? You need a good and expensive source of cloth tape for binding things like that. You know what I use, Glum? I've got some stuff. I think I got it at the dollar store. See, this is different, so this one's a little longer. doesn't matter. Um, it's like bandage tape, and I think it works really well. It's cloth. There's also some washi tape that is cloth. It's hard to find now, but I got some in the early days. I don't know if it's still sticky. Sticky. Hi, everyone. What are we doing? <laughs> Linda, that is the question of the hour. <laughs> we didn't let people know that I didn't let people know that it was a different time zone, so we're a little short on people here, and I'm sorry about that. And I should have learned my lesson. I did the same thing yesterday. Ugh. Yes, that's what I was thinking, Leslie. I saw him. <laughs> All right, so now we've got our little book. Isn't that cute? Even though it's kind of, actually, we could go this way and have it fan out, you know? That's kind of cool. And again, oh, I did do it. All right, so here we have even a little pocket inside there. So you could, I don't know. I like it. 
So what I was going to do was, let me just show you in case we go late. I just want to show how you do it, but it's, you know, obviously not that hard. Here we have, um, you know, there are three or five. So you could go either at this one or this one, wherever you want, and just stick that inside your elastic. And what I like is the craft paper really kind of holds it together and keeps it, um, you know, nice. It doesn't bend or fold. If we just use the paper bags, they would be flopping around, but they need support. So there you go. That's how they fit. So let's put, where's my other, oh, I already used my other one. All right. So this is what could be my, pro you know what I was thinking? I've been doing these watercolors and don't tell anybody, but these are from next month's
Oh no. Because I wasn't part of the stream. Aye, aye, aye. Do you hear me now, guys? Oh, good Lord. No, I didn't realize. I thought when I saw myself in my camera that uh, my sound was on. Ugh! Okay, very bad. I gotta go, guys. I'll see you. See you on Tuesday, okay? Bye.